All right, today on radio, we told you a little bit about um, this scene that happened in the, um, I think it was the Missouri State Fair, Rodeo Clown. He wore an uh, uh, Obama mask during a bull riding competition over the weekend. And Missouri, the governor, everybody apologized for this. This isn't the way we do things in America. Since when? Since when? I said on the radio today, that everybody has to get over it. this. This guy, this president, is not God, and, and I know that would be a demotion in this society. Um, let me rephrase it: He's not Mohammed. He's the president of the United States, and we've been making fun of presidents ever since the very beginning. It started really with Jefferson. I want to show you this. This um, is in the. This was. Uh, behind, um, uh, in one of the back rooms of the Smithsonian. I was at the Smithsonian a couple of weeks ago, and I was looking at some historic things, and this one isn't even on display. This was actually the inaugural flag for Jefferson. And you can see Jefferson there, and then it says, uh, Thomas Jefferson, President of the United States, on that banner. But down on the one where it's in the eagle's claws, it says, John Adams, no more. So... Jefferson has a flag made that says, and you'll notice it's coming out of the eagle's butt. We've done this for years. Um, how many times did we have to see uh, Ford um, falling down the stairs uh, with Chevy Chase? That's how Chevy Chase became famous. Yes, there was a time that Chevy Chase was famous. How about George W. Bush? How about Ronald Reagan? Make it, they made a Muppet out of that guy. The president wants to ban the mocking of the prophet Muhammad, but he is not Muhammad. Stop treating him like he is. He's the president of the United States. He's the commander in chief, but he also is the chief mocking recipient because that's what we do in this country. Now, since we said this on the radio today, a lot of people have been very upset and I wanted to bring one of them on. John Oval is uh, with us and he is passionate about not making fun of the president of the United States. Is that right, John? Uh, no, not at all, uh, Glenn. I think it's very, uh, I think it's the best thing we can do is make fun of the president of the United States. I think it's uh, what they did at this, uh, this you know, event at the fair was completely appropriate. I think what we have a problem with in this country is that when people Could start I going after former presidents, I think that's completely Could over the line. Could I, Could I? excuse me, could I, could I just point out that you're you're doing this in a, a mask which some will find very offensive I I don't see how uh, we have a long tradition in this country of making fun of presidents and I think right now all we're doing is this is part of the normal discourse it's hateful let me let me, let me bring in uh, uh, Dan Ovaltine here who is um, uh, who has another opinion here. yeah I, I, it's disgraceful uh, mr. Beck it's disgraceful what they did in Missouri it's disgraceful what this uh, uh, buffoon just said uh, it is wrong to mock this president he is the sitting president it's disgraceful to the but office Mr. of the presidency mr Ovaltine, you are also wearing a presidential mask uh yeah of the former president the guy who's a buffoon uh mr beck the guy who said things like uh, poor people aren't necessarily killers right. uh just because you don't happen to have a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean you're a killer I mean, right. stupid stuff like he deserves he right. deserves mr beck to have a mask worn okay so you say it's okay to wear a mask of of a former, all former president, president like, so if like I, this guy if i wore a if i wore a mask of let's say bill clinton it would be okay uh no that would be wrong because that was a that was a uh, that was a regal former president i'm talking about buffoons like this guy who used to pick his nose in office on camera. Okay, I don't think that's true. Uh, this this and guy was uh, was stupid and deserves ridicule. Old. Nobody nobody died when Clinton lied. Okay, let's remember let me, that, let me, Mr. Let me, Beck. Let me bring in another. Let me bring in another voice here. This is uh, uh, Bill Bigler. Um, it just says oh, in my notes here he goes both ways. I don't know what that means. Well, we here in America could go either way. It really doesn't matter uh, if you're for or against wearing masks because we just believe you should be able to wear them. You, you just should be able to wear masks. But we don't care either way. You don't care either way. We're all yes. for free. Is that a Ronald Reagan mask that you're wearing? or? Uh, this mask here is uh, a person who uh, was never president. Is that a Mitt Romney mask? Oh, see? 
Yeah, now you're making fun of me. All and right. People still okay. be able to wear masks. Either well, way. I just we just wanted to bring you this story tonight, and I know there's lots of opinions for, against, and doesn't really matter. Um, the one winner here seems to be the mask industry. For this new, seemingly new, racist cottage industry to pop up, strangely, with a couple of masks of white presidents and president wannabes, I, I don't understand. When did we become this country where you can't make fun of the president of the United States? He should be the chief in charge of ridicule. And on tomorrow's program on radio, that's exactly what we do. We take the ban of saying his name and we ridicule him. And oh, it, we might even come in with a couple of satellite dishes strapped to the side of our head, his ears, to make fun of him. Because in America, I have the right to do so. Back in a minute.